Hello, welcome to my channel. My name is Susie and I help people expand their consciousness. Today, I want to talk about ascension. What is ascension? You see, ascension is a process of your spiritual awakening. What is a spiritual awakening? A spiritual awakening is a remembrance of who you are. It's a transformational process where we shed the egoic mind and we become more heart-centered. We remember and we realize that we are a spiritual being having a human experience. Your vibrational frequency becomes lighter and you emanate more light and you merge more with your higher self, not your egoic mind that's been running you most of your life. You start to operate from a place of love, peace and unity and you lose the illusion of separation and you remember that we are all one. It's such a beautiful transformational process. But with this process can come a bit of can come with confusion, can come with a bit of discomfort, but that's okay because I'm here to guide you through your ascension process and to give you the tips and tools so you can navigate with ease and with grace and that you can know that everything is going to work out exactly how it's supposed to work out for you. Part of this process is shedding all of your old belief systems. You see, you realize that you've been operating under old belief systems that no longer serve you because you're becoming more conscious, more aware. Now that you're more aware and you're in a state of consciousness that's higher than what it used to be, things are going to be different in your life. You're not going to relate to things that you used to relate to before. You might not listen to music that you used to listen to before because what's actually happening is your vibrations becoming higher and you're realizing that this stuff here is no longer serving me. This can also happen with family. This can happen with friends and this can happen with partners. But that's perfectly normal. That's okay. It's all part of your process because you're evolving and you're growing and you're becoming more multidimensional. See, you become more mindful of what you're putting in your body because your body is your temple, our avatar. If it wasn't for our body, we can't be here on this earth, on this earth plane, earth school, having a human experience if it wasn't for our body. So you become more conscious and you start looking after your physical vessel a lot better. You see, you want to embody more light. You want to be lighter. You want to come to a state of enlightenment. So you're really tapping in and you're going inward and you're doing the inner work. That means you're conscious, so you're doing your shadow work. What shadow work is when we're shining light on all the density within us. All of the traumas, all of the pains from the past, all of the stuff that, all of our mistakes, all things that, you know, that are outdated, that these things no longer serve us. We're going to shine the light on it together and we're going to heal us so we can live the best life that we come here to live. You see, you realize that you've been fooled most of your life in this backwards system. Everything you've been taught was backwards. So now you're realizing a whole new way of life. You're basically shedding the old layers. It's like a rebirth. It's a purification process from within, deep, deep within. It's such an exciting process, but it's not an easy process. So I'm going to give you the tools to help you navigate through this with ease and with grace so you can be empowered and you can empower your friends and you can empower your family. You see, if we all do the inner work, we all shine more light. We become more embodied with our higher self. Our higher self is our God self because you start to realize as a multidimensional being, how powerful you are and how connected you are, the interconnectedness, the connectedness to the universe and to the spirit realms and to all our brothers and sisters. You realize that we're all one. We're all here navigating. And what an amazing time to be alive because we are in the great shift. So that means more and more people are waking up to the truth of who they really are. So never mind the external events that's going on out there. That's just to keep you in a state of fear and in a state of stress. But you realize as a multidimensional being that you have nothing to fear and that the universe looks after you. All of your needs are looked after. All of your needs are met. So you lose the fear and you lose the stress and you trust. You go within and you trust. 
You see, in religion, they talk about the coming back of Christ. The coming back and Christ is coming back. What's happening is we are the Christ. The Christ consciousness remains within because we remember who we are to reach a state of enlightenment, just how Jesus Christ did, because Jesus Christ remembered who he was. This is where humanity is headed. Now, you can accelerate your ascension process by doing the right things, and I'll give you the tips and tools to help you accelerate your process. But it's okay, because everyone is at exactly where they're meant to be right now. It doesn't mean because someone woke up 10 years before you or 20 years before you, that they're better than you. No, it doesn't work this way. You see, you start to have more compassion in your heart and you start honouring your brothers and sisters and your family and your friends for exactly where they're at on their journey. We all come in with a different path. We all come in with a different journey. But the one thing we do have in common, the common thread, is that we're all the same. We're all brothers and sisters. We all come here to evolve. Please like and subscribe to my channel and please share this with someone who you feel can benefit, someone who you can help. I will be pushing out more videos to help you on your journey, coming back within, mind, body and spirit connection and taming the ego and becoming more heart-centred so you can live the best life that you came here to live from a heart space of love, compassion and unity, where you can learn to forgive the ones that have hurt you, where you can learn to forgive your past. Until next time, I love you. Peace.